We now return to Let's Play Lethis. I've figured out a nice little road system. I've already tested it. I'm going to put an inspector right up there. And he will actually go the whole little loop here. He'll come down and no matter which way he goes, he manages to circle back around. Unfortunately, uh, what I've done up here has consumed pretty much my entire unemployed population. So, I'm going to have to deal with the ghosts before I completely run out of people. Uh, one thing I want to do first, though, before I forget, is I want to come in here and I want to make sure I am not taking... Oh, good. I've already done that. I've turned off all of the taking of unnecessary things like the various metals. Okay. Pat myself on the head for that one. Okay, let's do the exorcist. The ex... Where the hell is the exorcist? Government. Why is it in government? I don't know. But it is. And let's see. That goes... Right. I'm trying to match this up with the houses so that we actually have... That's probably okay for the appeal, right? We'll say so. It's really kind of bizarre. I still think it's really bizarre how the ailment of ghosts needs to be treated to get your full population but it also increases your houses when you deal with it did we already look at this one there are a few different types of each character it looks like uh... mechanic who are you you are i can't click on you because you're behind a house let's see if you move there we go water carrier, or the washer, rather. Okay. Uh, who else do we have to look at? Who are you? An actor, if you say so. Adult actress. Um, we should have a tax guy. There he is. The tax man, who for some reason has one discolored leg and chew. Fancy. Okay. Can, can we look at the cart guys? Do they carriers? They are different. I guess it's just meant to be sort of artistically uh, so showing that it's further away, maybe? Because they've all got this affliction where their far leg is a different color. Whatever. Anyway, things are going smoothly. We should now have some stuff. Okay, we've got some copper. Uh, we should have people. Only 4%? Really? That's, that's 20 people, but that's going to be eaten up almost immediately. Where'd they all go? Why aren't they here? We still need access to a theater. I may have to put that down. Uh, we've got beer, so that's good to see. Well, how many people does a factory take up. So what do we need first? What should I get first? Well, I, uh, obviously I can only do utensils first because I keep forgetting that the automatons, oh, and the way I've set up the road, we've completely consumed all of the available space. Automatons require iron. They are iron men. Okay, I guess we'll put this here then because this is the only place it can go. How many do you take up? A whole 20. Well, there goes everybody. But, we'll have utensils. Which will expand this a good bit. Got our first batch of utensils. The guy has not come to get them yet. Oh, because it's not a full batch of utensils, that's why. Oh yes, we will need many, many more if they're only producing it at this rate. Got plenty, plenty, plenty in storage. I just need more people, is all. Minus five workers needed. Okay. Ah, right. Uh, let's look at that. Something I have not explored from the tutorial was that you can send rich people to be representatives? I have no representatives. I guess they have to be a higher level 
of rich. Here we go. Well, this is only the first batch of people, so immediately I'm going to have to reinforce my utensil industry with a few more. Uh, how many more? I don't know. Let's put in two and see how that does. That's going to be 40 people. Um, shoot. Well, that, oh, I guess I, I will have to. Okay, good. Never mind. Never mind. This will be just fine. And what did that do? Unemployment 2%. Fantastic. So let's just hope we are slowly, slowly producing. I might be over-consuming my production capabilities. Looks like they're taking it right out of the factory, or the mine, rather, as soon as it's produced, so we don't have any kind of stockpilage. Which is okay. I mean, if it works to a 3 to 2 ratio, then that's acceptable, as long as we're under constant production, and we are not under constant production. There, we are out of copper. Since this is being consumed immediately, and we are in a situation where we're out of copper, I can only assume that this is not being supplied, and it will never be supplied because we have finite copper. So, out you go. So, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. That's good to know. Um, which means now I should have 20 extra people in my unemployment. I want to find out exactly how many I've got, though. Okay, so enough. Enough for, well, if that mine is going to take up 20 itself, I will have enough room for one iron mine, which is currently, well, no, I, I rejiggered the road so I can actually connect to this one up here now, but... I will just put this one in here. That's 20 people there. Let's hope that the foundry... Now the foundry is a 3x3 three three building as well, despite how huge it actually looks. So I'll put that there. This blast furnace, rather, also takes up 20 people. And the automaton factory, which is a 4x4, four four, can sit on the outskirts. And that'll take up 30 people. That may take up all of my available workers. Might take up more than what I had available. I guess I'll find out. Now, another thing, I didn't turn off taking utensils. So they've got utensils, but nobody is using it because they cannot evolve because they do not have access to the theater. And you're having an appeal problem as well. I wonder if it'd be worth it to knock out one of these and replace it with a beautification structure just so that I could force evolution. Because these ones seem to be fine. I don't know if they if they would need it to get to their next level, then yes, most... De oh, piss. Herbalist. I forgot to leave room for an herbalist. I don't have room for an herbalist. I might not need an herbalist, though. If we can actually get these guys built up, that'll be fine enough for me. And then I forgot that I also need ten people for that. So you know what? Before we're completely out of people, we are completely out of people. We're going to have to get the, uh, the theater up and running on this side. And I did not really leave myself. Uh, there we go. That works. Now that medicine thing is two, the herbalist. Yeah, okay. It'll fit there nicely. Uh, this has got appeal problems. That looks like a three by to me. Let's put in a big fountain. And then I'll just, uh, I don't know, put some, that, that actually had enough appeal to stretch across the road to hit that one as well. That's pretty cool. Put that like so. And we'll end up having some two buys back here, no doubt. They're still having some appeal problems. That's okay, though. And they've have gone way, way up, so we should have a huge amount of people once again. What's going on here? Steel. 
we're not producing enough steel. So, we're, looks like I will need... Ah, steam connection. See, now there is a building that requires a steam connection, and that sucks because I can't take a pipe across the goddamn water. So, that actually has to be over here, which means now I do have a problem. Yeah. Okay. Well, how am I going to fit this in there? Because it's going to have to go on one other side. Let's turn this around. Which means that this guy alone is probably not going to be enough for these, is it? Not unless I do something fancy with it. Could I actually even get that there, I wonder? It would actually squeeze there because there is room there. Okay. So, uh, let's see. If I... Hopefully I will not need one, more than one. Um, if I put this... I could put him here. But I don't know if it goes diagonal. Like, if he pops out there, is that going to affect that one? And what if he pops out over here instead? I can move that condenser up one. And then I might be able to squeeze... Well, I'd have that road there. I'm going to have to fix the pipes. Okay, okay, okay. Um, are we wasting a lot? Oh my god, yes. We are wasting 7,400 steam capsules because they're not taking it over to there. If I disintegrate this. But that's... Uh, that's okay. Hopefully this pays off. It's only okay if it pays off. So that that actually does not fit there, Dermart. Uh, but I can put you... Okay, let's grab the road. So it'll have to go like so. And then... See, now it's actually hooked up. It should technically be hooked up to this, correct? Because it's right next to one. Or does it actually require... It doesn't matter. Um, I can just... Oh, no, because it's got to come from a condenser. So it's going to have to come across the road... Well, first of all, let's just make sure that the inspector actually does what I'm hoping he will do. Which is cover all buildings. Good. So he'll go there. We can now put our condenser back there. Uh, I fortunately left myself enough room for this. I'll just attach it to the big pipes kind of redundant, but whatever. And this will now go across the road. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I've really painted myself into a corner here because I can't do much of anything with anything else. Uh, administrator. Okay. I guess that's a time achievement. So, hmm. Now, does the pipe... Just in case we get the steam directly from the extractor, and I don't know why we would, but I'll, I'll attach it that way anyhow. We'll just have pipes running everywhere like some Victorian steampunk nightmare. So how's that? 6% unemployment. Probably enough for another steel... Ah, there we go. Robot making robots. So... We're going through a lot of the steel really quickly. And hopefully they ship the automaton off. I don't know how they do that. I don't recall in the tutorial that we put them into storage. Um, so we still have some, right? Well, it's 19%. Ah, okay. We've got 15 automatons in the city. Right, because one factory produces 15. Right. 
Um, that should be enough for this, though. So let's turn this back on. Now we've got... We're not going to have enough people. We're actually going to have a, a problem here because I've got 19% on... Oh, that's 19%, not 19 people. I just need to remember that there's a large population of farmers that need to be handled. But this should work. I mean, I've got quite a bit of excess here. And actually, it should be farming season, at least for half the crops, half the field. Yes, and we're down to 16%. Good. Okay. So what next? Demand access to a cafe. This is an emporium, not a cafe. So, uh, whoops. Cafe. The emporium, then, I guess, is for the trading goods. Nah, whatever. We'll need all of this stuff eventually anyway. I may as well just put it all down, right? Those are the three buildings they require. We have all the flooring we need. We will see how quickly this evolves. First, I'm going to save, because we might be at the end here, although it doesn't matter so much. I would always save before finishing a game um, in, you know, Emperor and Pharaoh and Zeus and all that, because of the way the game worked, where it would, uh, it would not allow you to pick your missions and... So if I wanted to, damn it. It's because it's getting snarled by having them walk back, I suppose, that they're not able to walk all the way that way. What is this anyway? This is only level two. They want garments from an emporium. Garments, ah, shit. We haven't set up a silk factory yet. Blarg. I forgot to do that. I need silk. Let's really quickly set up some silk. 14% um, fantastic. Okay, let's do that then. It's actually under industry. And then we need, where's the textile mill? Taylor, okay. So this will actually just fit in right here. Uh, we got some four by areas. It can fit, might need a little bit more barley. Let's check to see. Oh, we've got so much stocked up. Fantastic. We don't need any more barley farms. We've caught up with that. That's great. Um, bum, 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 bum. I just don't like having this stuff stick out like this. And I left room up here for three buys, so maybe I can fit the tailors up there. Let's assume I'm going to need two of those, and we'll put in three tailors. Three tailors are not going to fit all there, but that's okay. That's a road. There. Okay. And I did leave that spot up there as well, because I didn't, had anticipated that stuff. I'll need jewelers, but I think maybe... Well, no, jewelers require gold, so I'll have to import the gold. And since this is my import-export up there, that should be close enough. Okay. So three for two, does that... Uh... Well, w with this in mind, then, I could possibly build another abbey, although I think we've got, we've got plenty of alcohol. All supplies look good. Uh, How is the money situation? actually uh, in the negative a little bit, mostly because of the thousand florin construction cost. But as you can see, I am... well, I'm not importing anything. My exports are not really making me anything. That's mostly because we're exporting the fish. What else could I export that I'm actually producing right now? Because I might be able to... write the alcohol if I really wanted to build that up, and I've apparently got enough barley that I can, but we should wait on that to make sure I, I know how much I opened you for the silk, didn't I? And then I realized I could make my own. Ah, uh, but I might need an extra food source, which might... Yeah, okay. I still think Rumendale might be a better choice at this point, just so I can start selling beer, but we're, we don't really have that much excess. You need more workers. Oh. Because of the farms? 
perhaps I should consider... I need 36 more people. Perhaps I should consider knocking down a couple of those farms. That still wouldn't be enough, of course. Uh, herbalist, we are not producing herbs. So we'll need people. We will need more consumers. That ought to handle it. Especially if they evolve all the way up, we're going to be suddenly finding ourselves... Oh, what the hell happened? The cafe. Oh, we're just out of workers. Ah, okay. Well, uh... Let's just turn you off. That'll give me a few more workers back. In fact, I could turn off the Emporium as well, except now they do require to have the garments from the Emporium. I still have to figure this sh this out. This is not conducive to anything. They are actually making it down there all the way. Who is not making it down there? I guess it's the cafe guy. Well, who's the cafe guy? Are you the cafe guy? Delivery bot type dealer. But I don't know who you're delivering from. You must be the Emporium. It's a very bizarre looking thing. So the cafe guy is clearly coming out from this side, walking that way, and is taking just that few too many squares, preventing it from getting up there, which is obnoxious. Well, I could replace a house. Like I could take this house out and move it up there. We'd have to do something about the inevitable bad appeal of being right next to these buildings, because I did not build it the way that would be good for that. And then it might, uh, but then then it would probably go wandering this way, wouldn't it? Arg! Let's just deal with it and see how far this gets us. We need more food. Yes, yes. Okay, I saw that problem coming. A mile away, Fedheim, uh, you sell the meat. So I will have to begin buying meat. Import meat. Let's import 12, 1,200? 1,200, sure. Um, I want to keep that paused, actually. And we're going to need to reduce the amount of fish by a lot. I don't want to take up too much of that. I decided I'm only pulling in 12, so I should keep only 12. And then the bread needs to be reduced as well. That does not add up at all, but uh, that's the way it is. Uh, let's reduce fish and increase bread, because I'm selling said fish. And I could possibly sell the brew now, too, because I do kind of have a, a little bit of a stockpile, but we're not connected to anyone to whom I can sell that to. So let's go ahead and just add Rumendale now. And then we'll come over here and begin selling. Da, 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 da. Let's sell 400 to begin with. I don't know how much excess I've got, so let's err on the side of caution. What is your deal? It isn't pretty enough. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna cop out here and just drag a bunch of the same stuff. Or I'm not. It won't actually let me build on the last square. Arg. Uh, let's do something... I don't... See, I don't know what the values of these are either. Because in, in the Impressions games, gardens were not worth as much as, like, statues and that sort of thing. I don't know if these all have the same value or not, and they're just different based on the size. One of the advantages of playing those older games is that they are from quite a long time ago, and they have a lot of information on the internet about them, including information about the buildings, uh, and all their statistics. Unfortunately, since this is such a new game and it's still being updated and developed, 
Uh, as far as I know, there's nothing really concrete yet, and we've got a problem with appeal. I'm just going to put one of these big, big fountains out here. Nope, still didn't do it. Okay, there we go. People. People are returning to the city. Uh, we're using all 15 automaton. We're using all 15 automaton? Oh, crap. That means I need another... Ah, oh, frick. This was... This is a nightmare. I'm gonna need another automaton factory. Which means my little gambit here did not, in fact, work out. Damn it. I'm just gonna have to have a separate inspector over here for this. And only this. Oh, that's so annoying. Why? Why can't pipes go across water? Actually, I kind of wonder. I noticed in one of the patch notes there was a thing where you could actually build... I mean, it was a bug. They didn't intend for it to be that way, but you could actually build stuff on bridges, but this is not apparently the case with the pipes. Last! Okay, well... We're not going to finish this this episode. I have a few things to figure out. Some rather annoying things to figure out. I suppose if I moved the tax and inspector office up here, but then that's just another possibility for these guys to wander up here and waste time going. Maybe I should just have these in a in the middle? I don't know. I guess in future designs I probably will just want a, a square or a rectangle so that they loop that way you know if they do get far enough on the other side they will loop around because this straight line is clearly not working so well and uh, the automatons I guess don't have nearly as long of a travel distance as some of the other buildings I mean that is an incredibly short distance I mean, it's, not, it's not like he's actually going all the way up here either. He's going right there. That's maybe five squares of distance he's being taken out of. And he can't make it all the way down there. <sighs> anyway, time to end this episode. I'll see you next time, where hopefully I'll be able to level this up. We've got 16 people. We need 200 people in a mansion. Might need another housing block for the elite as well. Oh boy. Okay, see you next time. We now return to Let's Play Lethys. I've flipped the housing block a little bit. Hopefully this will work out. I've reduced this down to one square, so they ought to be able to make it all the way here. The one I'm somewhat concerned about is the spa, but I don't know we'll actually need it. Yes, we will. We'll actually need the spa. Well, this is better fucking work out then, shouldn't it? Um, so I, I did actually reduce this down to one square here, uh, on the edge of it, just so I could fit the inspector in. I am hoping that this guy is not going to go this way and then, you know, fall short and have the same problem. I don't know how far this guy will walk. I can't tell right now because we don't have enough automata. So I did set up a second factory down here probably means I'm going to need another blast furnace up here, although I don't know. kind of looks like we might have enough. Either way, uh, let's get this started. Let's see how many unemployed people I have. I need minus one workers. That does not tell me anything. What does that even mean? It means that I need more people. We're at sort of that minimum. Maximum. Min-max. We are at a point where this does me no good. One thing I've also done, I've, I've turned off accepting meat from these guys, so the common housing will not get that third food type. We'll be able to keep that purely for, hooray, purely for uh, these guys. Now, if it looks like the next level they will go to 20 residents, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, which should mean uh, that we'll get our 200 people. The building just collapsed. The fuck are you talking? Oh, damn it! God! Fuck! God, this game infuriates me sometimes. 
So, even though, for what... It makes no fucking sense that this guy can't get there. Is that this one? What? Oh, because there's a goddamn roadblock in the way. Jesus! Get out there, dude. We need you before anyone else... Oh, fuck. Well, that was entirely my fault. What was this? The Emporium? More wasted goods. I should have double-checked that. Damn it all. Uh, it's not in... It's this one. Now you make it. You devolved because you're not getting stuff. Still not getting garments. We're consuming garments. Possibly could be producing a few more garments. We're getting enough silk out of that. We're not producing enough silk. So this might be another 1-1 one -one ratio. Click on the frickin' building, please. Well, it looks like we've got plenty in there. I mean, we've got 200 in storage. It's just taking forever to get it over to the storehouse. My only, I'm only taking in 1,200, I believe, to begin with, so that might actually be part of the problem. But I should now have uh, 30. Let's check this. Yes, I've got 30 automata in place. Let's go ahead and turn this on and see how this does. Ooh, fancy. They're in a palace, level 4 palace. Well, that's that. We just need people to move in. Four more people. Hooray! Time to quit. Wow. That was uh, a little bit of a pain, I'm going to be honest. You have done honorable work. Congratulations. I knew I could count on you. Tree hugger. I'm not sure what that achievement entails. Everett helped a city to get back on its feet. Hasselport's fishermen are as active as ever and provide fresh fish to all regions of the high provinces. Still, nobody knows whether the new condenser is running completely stable, yet experts agree it may never get worse than it was. Uh, okay. Not sure what that means. But now we're ready to go to that fancy new city of Hamkirsch. And uh, I'm just going to tack this on to what I thought was last episode, because clearly this is not long enough to be its own episode. So, I know I've already said it, but I will see you next time.